Hi, my name is Daria. I'm CBD of Mobile Games Department at Edge Champagne. We're a performance marketing agency and our team is focused on user acquisition and creative production for mobile games. Mobile game marketing started in the early ages of 90s and early 20s. So the very first case of mobile game marketing would be Nokia with its game Snakes. So basically they pre-installed the game into their phones and used this as an advertising for the mobile phone itself. So they advertised it heavily that their phones could be used as entertainment, not just by using their phones for calling, etc. It gained a huge popularity among the users and became a key selling point uh, for Nokia itself. During that time, pre-installing games like Tetris and Snake uh, on the phones became a key selling point and opened a new marketing strategy for mobile games. As mobile gaming continued to grow, the marketing evolved into partnerships with different ad networks, platforms, app stores, helping distribute and promote the apps even more. So after the introduction of uh, Apple App Store and after that Google App Store, uh, it helped to promote mobile games globally. This marked a significant shift in mobile game marketing because now uh, app publishers had to compete among each other on a global scale and it opened new opportunities to market and use other user acquisition strategies there. With that, mobile game marketing had to shift from pre-launched games to actual marketing with their own strategies, user acquisition, influencers and targeted campaigns. So today mobile games is a billion dollar industry that continues to evolve and grow and change. So we have to adapt and create new options how we can promote games and reach our audience. So in late 90s and early 2000s, the game market was not as big as it is today. With technology growing and phones becoming more affordable, the market has grown rapidly, so we had to adapt to it as well. As the time go, companies had to invest more in the dedicated team, so they had to recruit talented designers, uh, copywriters, marketing teams, so the budgets became bigger and bigger. So in late 2000s, 2010s, uh, after launching app stores, mobile game publishers and developers had a centralized place to distribute and monetize their games. So besides user acquisition, they had now an opportunity to monetize their games through uh, App Store optimization. In 2010s, in-app marketing became a thing. So marketers now had an opportunity to use ad networks, mediation platforms, ad exchanges to serve their games. With that, new video formats appeared. For example, interstitial ads, the ones that appear on your full screen and you can't skip it. Other one is rewarded video content. Uh, for example, when you're playing a game and you want extra life and you don't want to pay money, you can watch a video and earn this extra life. And of course, native ads. So now we're in the era of influence marketing and gaming communities. Basically, that's the best and most native way to promote your game. Bloggers create gameplay videos showcasing the game during live streams or reviews and it brings the most native way to promote your game. So basically now we have four different paid traffic sources. The first one is paid social. It's the well-known platforms like Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, Bega, Facebook that we use every day. The second one is in-app traffic, basically promoting games inside other games that helps us dig into the databases of existing users and get the most relevant players that we need. To name a few, that would be Vungle, Iron Source, Unity Ads, Aploven, etc. The third one is programmatic or DSPs. Uh, that's an automatic way to manage and buy uh, ad inventory from different sources at once. For example, that would be Malocom, Integral, Liftoff, Chartboost, and more and more. And the last one I want to mention is OAM stores. That's an alternative store where you can publish your game and get traffic from there as well. For example, that would be Huawei or Xiaomi store. The way that consumers interact with media has changed dramatically over the years. Nowadays, we use our phones basically all the time playing games as well. This gives us a larger and more diverse audience to target. With that comes the rise of social media and influencers and uh, platforms like TikTok, Snapchat, Twitter. Twitch became main 
platforms for advertising for mobile games. Talking about new technologies, AR and VR appear that giving us opportunity to get more immersed and interactive gaming experiences. And let's not forget about AI because this gives us a huge opportunity to optimize video ads production, allowing us to test ideas quicker and more efficiently. Besides that we're in the era of data-driven marketing, we're getting to know our users more and more. Now we know what they like, what are their preferences, where they live, what they do. Advanced analytics and tracking systems allowing us to track the behavior of users, check their demographics and preferences, and make targeted messages to them. So now we can create tailored marketing campaigns with reports and in-game experiences that engage and retain our users and also drive monetization. One of the examples is playable ad. That's basically an ad where you can test and play a game a little bit, so a game in a game. Players can interact with different game features, try out different mechanics, and let's say get a taste of a game itself. That gives us a higher conversion rates and possibly players would stay in the game longer. One of the notable examples of companies that adapted playable ads would be Rovio, the creators of Angry Birds. They included playable ads production in their marketing strategy and with that, that brought them their revenue increase in 16% and impressions in 53%. Overall, it's a great to be a part of marketing nowadays and see how it evolves and changes throughout the days. And at Ed Champagne, we have a hand-on experience to test out new features and adapt it to our marketing strategies. Thank you for your attention, and I'll see you in the next video where we will talk about new marketing approaches in the mobile games marketing.